What's up guys, Blade Master here, back with some more Total War Room 2 online action. I'm fighting up against Anarchy from the VMS clan in this battle. And uh, he is uh, quite a good player and he, I believe he used to be really good in uh, Shogun 2. He whooped my ass in Shogun 2. We played one game and I was like, oh my god, this guy's good. Um, but uh, yeah, and so we played one game in Shogun 2, whooped my ass. I decided to take and play, play him in Rome 2 after that. Um, and we played like a bunch of games. This is just one of them. Uh, I took Swaby in this matchup and he took Sparta and I think this is a really cool, uh, you know, faction matchup because Sparta on the, on the one hand is an incredibly defensive uh, faction and Swaby on the other hand is incredibly offensive. So with Sparta, he's brought one skirmish cav, one Tarantine cav. He's brought a ton of skirmishers, a ton of very elite tier skirmishers, uh, I believe two Rodians and three Cretan archers and brought a very tanky hoplite force he's brought four spartan youths i believe uh, two as meat shields and two to cover against my germanic scout riders and he has brought a total of two spartan hoplites i believe and uh, f yeah three spartan hoplites and uh, or is it four <laughs> it's four spartan hoplites and three royal spartans so just a shit ton of spears obviously with sparta there's no other unit you can really bring and uh, some Tarantine, some skirmish cavalry as well. Now, I've brought three Germanic scout riders. Uh, some of them have taken some good shots on the skirmish cap, and they'll be much quicker than the, uh, than the skir even the skirmish cap and then, of course, the Tarantine cap because they're very light units. I've also brought three uh, Germanic slingers. They're, uh, they're a very good unit to bring, especially against something like Sparta, whom you know that they're going to bring a lot of uh, skirmishers. So using these slingers and putting them up front with their high missile block chance uh, means that, one, the Rodian slingers and the uh, Cretan archers will waste a lot of their ammunition on really cheap units. And on the other hand, you can also do pretty decently in a skirmish on skirmish engagement. I've also brought three Kimpri bowwomen behind them. They're an essential unit, I think, in any uh, Swaby army. Three berserkers and four wolf warriors make up my main infantry line. And I've also got a noble rider gen with another noble rider beside him and two bloodstone units. So right now I'm perfectly content, uh, you know, letting him fire into my Germanic slingers. I'm moving back with the rest of my units and he's going to come into charge with his Tantine cav, uh, which is all right with me because these Germanic slingers won't do much at all anyways. Of course, it's not a perfect engagement and I ideally I wouldn't want it to happen. Uh, and, you know, I didn't micro them properly and now they're starting to die. But even though they've gotten attacked, it's not the end of the world for me. And uh, meanwhile, oh, I've turned off Firewood because he moved up with the Spartan News. And um, yeah, that's why I didn't shoot at his uh, Tantine cab. But meanwhile, I caught his Skirmisher cab. And you know, my Germanic scout, actually, they're, not, they're taking a lot of damage, surprisingly, a lot of damage. And here I'm going to start sh shooting at his Royal Spartans with my Kimbri Bowman. I've also activated Fast Charge. And now the second uh, phase of the of Fast Charge has actually popped up. So I should be charging in right now. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, this it's going to be crucial, my um, my timing of this charge. I'm going to charge in with my Noble Riders onto a Spartan Newts, completely destroy his, uh, uh, you know, his charge bait units. And then through the center, my Wolf Warriors and my Berserkers are going to be charging into his Royal Spartan here. Um, he's made a critical mistake here. He's, uh, he's starting to, uh, you know, oh, wow. Did they get, yeah, they, get, they got stuck. Oh, no, my Wolf Warrior got stuck. But he made a big mistake here, kiting too late with his, uh, uh, with his Royal Spartans. I think Fast Charge is just about ready to uh, dissipate. You know, they got uh, Fast Charge on to Spartan Youths here, and so did the other Wolf Warriors. So he basically, he did very well here. Even though I used my Germanic Scout Riders to uh, rear charge his Mercenary Cretans and tie down a lot of his units, um, he made sure my Wolf Warriors didn't get a good charge off on onto his General, which they easily could have. Meanwhile, his um, Slingers and his Archers are getting great shots on my Berserker unit. It's all over the place now. My Noble Rider General have killed off that uh, Spartan Utes and uh, they're just chilling now because Fast Charge has been uh, removed. But now I've gotten into uh, his General with Wolf Warrior units and they've gotten attacked in the rear, which is terrible for him and great for me because I, I even use Frenzy and I got Frenzy charge onto these units. So 44 kills with Wolf Warriors on some really high value units, but now his hop, uh, Spartan Hoplites and Hoplite Phalanx are going to be uh, fighting up against these, these guys. 
I think uh, they still they're starting to chase off the general, but they're going to take a ton of casualties in the process uh, because they had an attack order set on the general who's not retreating. But I'm going to charge in with Bloodsworn to hold down these Spartan Hoplites. Meanwhile, his uh, my Wolf Warriors are getting completely slaughtered by his uh, elite uh, skirmishers here. I still have two Germanic Scouts though, which is good. And now my highly maneuverable Noble Rider General will take advantage of this little gap to start charging into his main line. Now he's forced to use his Royal Spartan General. I'm going to charge straight into them with my Noble Riders and then charge through them because they are in a very thin line. No, I'm actually going to pull back, which is cool because I've got Wolf Warriors here who are going to charge into his uh, Royal Spartans who are already quite depleted. And yeah, with the, with the Deadly Charge, even without Frenzy, those uh, Wolf Warriors would do very well. Here I'm going to rear charge with Wolf Warriors onto Spartan Hoplites who are already taking a ton of damage from Berserkers, I believe. Uh, no, a mix of Bloodsworn and uh, Wolf Warriors. And here, uh, yes, my depleted wolf warrior is uh, just going to get recharged by Spartan Hoplites, but that's no problem, because I'm I've killed off the main unit that I needed to be that I needed to kill off, uh, i.e. his Royal Spartans. He's going to charge in with one more Royal Spartan unit that's at full strength now against some very exhausted wolf warriors. Uh, but again, he just doesn't have many skirmish. He, he's got some skirmishers left, but I do have like a full strength noble riders. It's taking a ton of damage here, but no, not many units have been killed. They're just taking HP damage at this point, and they're going to charge straight through, kill off a lot of his Rhodian Slingers and Cretan Arches. Meanwhile, I've also got that other Germanic Scout Rider that's uh, killing off uh, a lot of those units. Noble Rider Gen with 51 units left. His Spartan Hoplites, I think they were about to charge into them, but I've again got a uh, Wolf Warrior here to charge, counter charge them. They're taking a ton of casualties from those Rhodian Slingers in the process. Um, but I'm also bringing, I've also got another Wolf Warrior to rear charge these Spartan Hoplites. Uh, meanwhile, Kimbri Bowmen, not really, um, uh, they haven't, you know, uh, they've affected the game a little bit. Yeah, 37, 10, 5, not really too much. Maybe if they, if I had used Flaming Shot on them, they'd probably be able to do a much, uh, you know, they'd, able, they'd be able to cause a much bigger impact. Noble Rider General with Pride on going to completely destroy these mercenary Rodian Slingers. Look at that weapon damage. And it's a close victory. Uh, at this point, Anarchy, I believe he decided to uh, call it quits uh, because, I mean, his general was dead and he didn't really have many units left. Two Royal Spartans against a ton of Berserkers and a ton of Wolf Warriors really wouldn't do too much. Um, yeah, so it's a very quick game. Um, it is kind of late. That's why I decided to just bring, bring you guys a really quick game. Um, but hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, something a bit different. I don't really usually take Swaby. Uh, but since I was playing for fun, I decided to take them because it's, it's very easy to go wrong with them. And, uh, you know, I don't really trust myself with them. Uh, anyways, guys, that's the end of this battle. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Peace.